Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to produce music with Guitar Pro 6 and Ableton. Uh, as you can see, we have Guitar Pro 6 open. What we're going to do is we are going to start a new file. So we're just going to choose File Open Empty. We are going to name the title Billy Jean. So we're going to transcribe uh, just the first part of Billy Jean today. And of course, the artist is Michael Jackson, uh, also written by Quincy Jones, if you don't already know. So we're just going to write out the um, just the first part. Um, and of course, it's on the album Thriller. Um, one of my favorite tunes. I'm sure it's one of your favorites as well. It's a pretty, it's a really straightforward, easy tune. So we're gonna add a track here. Um, let's go with, uh, I like to do drums first, so let's go ahead and add a drum kit. Um, we're going to go over to our eighth notes over here to the left, and we are going to bring up our instrument panel, and let me just drag the instrument panel over here, as you can see, and we are going to start putting in some closed hi-hat eighth notes, so we're going to choose our closed our closed hi-hat and we're going to start putting in our eighth notes here and we're just going to simply copy and paste our eighth notes or excuse me we're going to let's put it we're going to put our bass drum on the one and three here and then we're going to put our snares on the two and four so it's a very 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 simple drum line as you can see very simple, very straightforward. We're going to copy and paste that drum line four times. Okay? Very straightforward. So control V, control V. There we go. Control V to, to paste. And as you can see, we've got a very basic drum pattern to work with here. Okay? So the next part, of course, is we are going to add guitar, okay, so clean, six string, add, and we are going to put in our, um, we're going to put on a uh, um, F sharp minor. Which is the uh, the first chord there? Okay, so we're gonna put in our rest, which would be an eighth note. And the great thing about um, there we go. So we got our eighth note followed by quarter note rest followed by an eighth note. And here's the thing about Guitar Pro 6, we can use that one semitone up icon to the left there, and now we've just um, increased the value of that second chord to um, essentially a G sharp minor, and now we're going to add some more rests here. Now, the third chord is... Um, it's like an F sharp minor inversion. So what we can do is we can, um, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste there. What we can do is essentially make, we're gonna essentially make that, that third chord there essentially a D minor, which is what I'm gonna do now. So there's our D minor. But we're gonna, we're gonna use that semitone um, icon there to increase it up one, two, three semitones to an F sharp minor. So that's our F sharp minor inversion. And that's pretty much the whole line there, as you can as you can see. So we're just gonna copy and paste that a couple times there. So copy and paste. Okay. So we're gonna play it. Pretty, pretty catchy tune, I would say, wouldn't you say? So, now that we have that, we have to add some bass. 
So I like to, um, I usually like to go for a five string bass because it's got that low B. So if we ever need that low note, we can, um, we can, uh, choose the, uh, that low B there. And we are just going to choose some eighth notes and go ahead and just, um, fill it in. It's just a real, it's like a F sharp. It's kind of an F sharp minor pentatonic kind of thing going on here. So it's just all eighth notes. It's really straightforward, you know, and it kind of sounds like this. Let's see, hit the, uh, yeah, go and another B there. There we go. So we're just going to copy and paste that now. And I really like using this tune because it's just such a straightforward song. At least this first part is. We're not going to put in the melody or anything. Just the, just these first four bars here. It's a very, very straightforward song. Okay. That's the first four bars of first four bars of Billy Jean there. Okay, it's the first four bars, no melody, just the just the bass guitar and drums or bass keyboard and drums, I should say. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to export to MIDI, and I'm just gonna throw that in my MIDI file here, and we're gonna close this out and we're gonna save it. Okay, we're gonna save that also in my MIDI file there in my mashup folder okay so we've got to go to um, I've got to get Ableton going here which is right down there on my toolbar excuse the uh, messy desktop there I need to clean it up a little bit but you get the idea um, so we're opening Ableton Live 9 here and um, in case you don't know, this is a very, very powerful piece of software uh, for producing music. I use it all the time. And as soon as this thing opens up here, we're going to um, import this MIDI file and um, start attaching some, um, some uh, pretty decent sounding um, instruments to it here. So I've got to go to my mashup folder, which is on my messy desktop here. Um, so I've got to minimize this thing here, locate my mashup folder, which is on the left there. And I've got to locate, um, it's in my GP MIDI folder. It's right below the GPX file, so it's, in, it's, it's the MIDI sequence uh, file there. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a few in my folder here. So we're going to just, just simply click and drag Billy Jean and drag it into Ableton here. And we're going to say yes to tempo and arrangement there. And we have to assign some, um, some instruments to these tracks here. Okay. So I like to use Woofer Loving Bass for my uh, bass sound Wolfer Lover there so we're going to attach that to the bass uh, to the bass guitar there and as soon as that loads up I'm going to let you I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like okay alright so now I guess we need some kind of piano sound to go for the uh, to put on the guitar part so I like to use grand piano um, and it should be right there we go I kind of, something like that so we're gonna go ahead and attach that sound to guitar okay so should load up pretty soon here. So
So I'm just going to go over to our mixer here and um, um, increase the volume on the keyboard here. Let's put our well, let's put our loop region real quick here. So we just put our loop region, and we're going to increase the volume of the piano. Now all we need is some drums. So we got our drum our drum sounds now. I like to use Kit Core LD. It should come with uh, just your standard um, just a standard drum drum kit that comes with Ableton. Now here's the thing. Anytime you use, you're going from you're going from GoPro or excuse me, whenever anytime you're going from Guitar Pro to um, Ableton for drums, you have to go down here and um, click on the B, click on the um, bass drum down down here and just move it up with your uh, keyboard with the air, up arrow, and that's what it sounds like there. So that's pretty much the uh, that's pretty much the lesson. Um, so uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments, just leave them in the um, in the comments section, and um, I'll certainly uh, get back to you there. So we just uh, we just converted uh, we just transcribed the first part of Billie Jean and and threw it into Ableton in a little over twelve minutes. So that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, if, uh, you got any questions, just, uh, leave them in the comments section and, uh, I'll definitely get to you and, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.